We're still camping in Texas at Lake Whitney, Lawler's Bend Campground. Just had a, a wonderful egg, shrimp, vegetable, burrito breakfast today. And beautiful as this campground is and beautiful as this lake is. From cloudy to this type of day. There's a campground and you know we like free. Free, 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 free. There's a campground not too far from here. What'd you say, about less than a mile, maybe two miles? About two miles. Two miles? Yeah. And it's free. It is called Soldier's Bluff. Now you think there's a free campground, and you know we like free. Free, 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 free. Free, 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 free. <laughs> Why aren't we there? Well, this is the campground we would not, under no circumstance, recommend if you want a good night's sleep and a worry-free sleep because we checked there prior to coming here the last time we were here. Mm -hmm. And it just looked like a, there's a gate that you go through with a guy about a gate and obviously a, what you call the camp, campground host. You know, we stay in spots with not too many campground hosts. Campground hosts there, but nobody cares about the campground. Lots of trash, lots of dirt, not well maintained. And the worst part, it looked like people were actually living there. Not just living there, just like they didn't care, like a homeless encampment. And, you know, you say, well, you got something against the homeless. We have nothing against the homeless. You gotta stay somewhere, you gotta stay, but don't put the campground as a campground that People could just come stay in and then, I don't know how to say it. I guess they have a host. Well, campground hosts do your job. Soldiers, Bluff, yeah. Lake Whitney. If just, they would regulate it mm -hmm. and make people that stay in there, it's a free campground. Yes. But have them to keep it clean, not have their stuff scattered all over the place and really looking like it's a homeless campground. Yeah, and, and you know, for free campgrounds, you can't ask for much, but if you're gonna have a gate or a, look like a pay spot, which you don't have to pay, and somebody there who's supposed to be taking care of it, take care of the place. When we're in Montana, we stay in that free campground. It kept something, and I remember it, I, I put the name up here. Now, it wasn't the most well-maintained campground, but they didn't have a campground host, and people take, what really took care of it more than Soldier's Bluff. So this part of this of us hanging out while we clean it up, well, can't clean it up now. Right. It's more, <laughs> it's almost a right. <laughs> <laughs> it's more, more about a campground that we would not recommend if you're looking for one, peace and quiet, peace of mind. Because peace and quiet, peace of mind. It, we felt if we were to stay there and decide to go out on a ride, oh. somebody would have came and messed with our camera. Now, Granted, that was in the summer and it's far from summer right now. So we're going to go take another look at it and see if it's worth it. The only problem with this one was last night. <laughs> Our neighbors had a major, major argument and a lot of people there. We didn't mind a party. It was a Saturday night, but they got drunk and started fighting each other and cursing and screaming and all kind of stuff, driving off, which People shouldn't have drove off while they were drinking. But that's another story. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on here and, and talk about a campground that you should not, under no circumstances, go to. If, I, would you say it would be good for a one night stay? One night is fine. The good thing about it, Cake, is you can still see the lake. Right. And yeah, if, they do have some good lake views. And it would be good for days. Just, Riding by, you want to go through, although there's a day use spot here, so maybe that won't, won't be good for day use. And day use spot here in this campground is well maintained. Still got it looking kind of wild and tamed at the same time. Anyway, just want to do a quick video on that. Keep it under five minutes. I don't know how long a video will be. <laughs> <laughs> and from here, we continue northbound and going at another campground that we stayed at before that's paid, but we actually love, absolutely love this one. And then we turn him back eastbound. 
Eastbound. Eastbound and several free spots we're going to fed. Working our way back to the East Coast and down to Florida to get the beach. Again. <laughs> to get the beach. Y'all know we water freaks. Yes, you can swim. Don't believe the hype. Y'all know what I'm talking about, about the hype. <laughs> Where the trash bag, mate? Over here. Okay, we're at Loftus Bend Campground. I'm leaving Loftus Bend Campground on Lake Whitney in Whitney, Texas. And heading over to Soldier's Bluff. I'm going to check out Soldier's Bluff Campground because the last time Cake and I was here, it was in the middle of a summer, and we checked out Soldier's Bluff Campground because it's a free campground. Free, 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 free. And we did not like it. So I'm going to check it out again and see if anything changed. Okay, the first time we were there, they had a guard at the gate. And it, even though it was free, there was a guard at the gate and a campground host. And it was not very well taken care of. Campground was messy, junky, trash all over the place. People hanging out as if they were living in there. And I know it's a 14 day stay for a free campground, but it just looked bad. And Cake and I decided not to camp there. So we came here, which is a paid campground. And this is an excellent campground. We camped here one day in the summer. And this time around we camp seven days as a paid campground, so, but it's still within our budget. Tonight is our last night here, and it's supposed to be raining tomorrow, so we probably go to the free campground setup and just spend a night there, which is probably a mile to my right over this bridge, over this dam. And if it's worth it, we go and camp there for a night. That way we can leave. The day after tomorrow, when the sun is back out and everything is clear. Once we cross this bridge, we should be turning right, going into Soldier's Bluff Campground. Now, the good thing about it, I must admit, is you can see the lake from Soldier's Bluff Campground, but it just happened to be a horrible campground. There's Lake Whitney to the right, and a day use area and boat launch. It's a huge lake, just, just a small part of it. And to the left, well, you can't see it from here, but to the left is where everything's dammed up and the river goes down there. And you can see the plant all the way over there. And there it is, nice view right here. Boat launch area and day use picnic area. But this proportion of this video is about the campground and it's right over here. One of the bad things about it is, is right next to the freeway. And so you're gonna hear road noise. And as I stated, one of the worst things about it is what I'm going over here to check out. So it was, looks like it's gotten better. Uh, maybe, just maybe we're gonna spend one free night here. So I'm gonna pull in there, make sure it's still free. Get off the bike and go take a look at it. I see a bathhouse. I see cars down there. I see a big parking lot, which I don't remember seeing before. And yeah, there's the gate, which they have a person by the gate. And yes, they still have a campground host. But I don't know if it's still free or are they still taking care of it? Or they just let it go like when we were here. Hopefully it gotten better. Park hours, 6 to 10 p.m. 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. So, go ahead and check it out. And there's nobody in here. There was a guard here last time he came. And the campground is limited to 14 days. So let's drive through. It looks a little better. To my right, I don't know, this look like number six. Oh, okay. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. I'm liking it now. I like it for one nice day. To the left, they got it closed off. 
Look like big race could stay to the left. To the right. Let me see if there's anything for us to come back tomorrow. And if we come back tomorrow and it looked the way it looked now, we are definitely staying one night. A little further down here. Well, good to know it's still free. Okay, here's number 10. Over here, I'm just going to go over here. And it looked like tent camping only. I mean, you can park your car here, put your tent over there, but we're on motorcycles and we want to use patches. So we will not be using that. And let's see. One, two, three, look like four different campgrounds to where walk in tent camp. It looks a lot better. I don't see nothing indicating anyone living here. Oh my goodness, I'm happy now. We don't have our tent with us because I was going to say we could just park patches here and put up our tent. Go take a walk. Let me show you guys what it looked like. Now, the first time we were here, I, I don't think we were that much surprised of the look because we read some reviews online, but you know, you always got to check things out for yourself. So, walk in right here, parking lot, dumpster, no fish or household trash. Oh, yes. Looks really clean. Now, obviously, we had our tent. We'll walk back here. So, I see a fire pit. A, look like a self made fire pit. Then there's the others over there that come with most campgrounds. Table. And, yeah, you can see people still leave trash. There's a person over there in a the car. And each one of them look alike. So now I'm going to ride all the way down to the end. And yes, we gave this campground a bad review when we were here before. Tomorrow, looks like we may be coming here. Go down a little bit by the lake and see what's going on down there. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I still say it is good for an overnight stay, maybe two days, depending on what you're doing. Now, we were in a motorhome. I think I could see us staying here. 14 day stay limit. I don't know. Okay, this is more of a picnic area down here. Yes. One, two, three benches. A lifeguard on duty swim at your own risk and it's a deep drop. They said lifeguard, life jackets are available first come first serve, but they want any life jackets on that thing. So this is not bad. And that's the bridge I came over, over there. Right there. I'm gonna head out and we'll talk to Cake. And it's supposed to be raining tomorrow, so most likely we're gonna come here, which is obviously less than a mile. Oh, there was some life jackets down there. People didn't hang them up. And if it's available tomorrow, then we'll be staying one night here and then continuing northbound into Oklahoma from Texas. Okay, it's one, two, three, four walk-ins right there. Here's the number 10 with two tables, probably more of a group spot, walk-in. And yes, everything's still free. And anybody could use it. So let me go around a circle on this gravel road. And look like number, I can't tell the number from back here. 10 is available. There's only one spot available. Oh, two, number five. Look at right through here. It's gravel road. I don't know why these other two aren't available on this side. See how this is going to look for us, me going in with patches. Okay. 
Not bad. So this is number five. A little on level, but level enough for patches. Uh, older couple. Oh, kind of ruts in here, too. Number seven. Number six must have been on the other side. Number eight available and, you know, left with a bunch of trash. So I guess that part didn't change that much. Where people come in and, and don't clean up after themselves. So two elderly, elderly ladies right there. Look like they're having a good time with their dog. Well, since we got one more there at the last site, we're going to be playing it by ear. Because we might come in tomorrow and might have somebody at the site. The only two sites are available. Or maybe this couple will leave. And that's a big site that we could stay in for a day. I don't know. Might be a day or two. I like it. These sites on this side look like they have electric, but obviously they closed. And nobody going to give you electric for free. <laughs> so <laughs> that's probably why they closed. And they're at the campground host right there. I like it a lot better than when I, I thought I was going to like it because we was here before and I already judged it. And we're not too picky, especially when it comes to free. As I said before, the worst thing is there's a campground host and obviously that host not cleaning up, not doing their job. Right now, it looks looks like mm, I'm liking it a lot. Kate going to be surprised when I get back and tell her I like it a lot. <laughs> She's going to be like, what? I'm going to say, yes, they steal the campground hose there and steal the gate that you have to go through. And all right. All right, head back over to our campground. Hope you guys like that little quick tour I've done of that campground. And it's absolutely free. If... You've seen our review on that, and I say, by all means, stay away from it. Maybe it just get packed in the middle of the summer when it's hot, and, and I, I don't know, the, the campground host is not doing a very good job in the summer, I could say. And right now, it is middle of the winter, and it is, oh, wrong but <laughs> 66 degrees here middle of the winter. I love it. Right, my turn is coming up. I am back. I want to see Kate's reaction. I want to get it on camera when I tell him how I really like the campground compared to the first time. I got to turn here. We're at site number five. A lot of ruts and gravel. On the great night last night, uh, neighbors next to us had a party going on, which we didn't mind. Then it just turned, well, I guess, violent. I don't know. They were fighting, drunk, cursing, screaming all into the night. We was about to get up and say something. We left it alone, and eventually it died down. These guys right here, obviously not the guy who owned the thing. He was gone, and his party that he allowed to come, and they were acting a fool. Okay, y'all, I'm going to walk the bike and see if I get kick reactions on camera when I say, oh, no, you're going to like it, baby. She's probably going to say, stop lying. <laughs> oh, no, let's see. Get this thing in reverse. I won't grab on. I won't. Feet slipping and all that stuff. Exactly what happened. Feet slipping. I should have cut it sharp to begin with. Here we go. That should be it. Stand by. Go ahead and get a reaction. I'm back. You heard what? Oh, I actually like it. Really? Yeah, it's nice. Was different. 
it's a little cleaner. It's, I don't know, it looks better than what I remember. Well, there y'all have y'all have her reaction. It wasn't no, you're lying. I thought she was going to say, you're lying. She said it was different. But, so what you want to do? Stay one night there before we pull out? Pull out while it's sunny? All right. Anyway, if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. She's over there. Let me show you. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> My boosted G's riders, I'm Rich. I'm Kate. And we out. Hey.